Hey everyone, welcome back to this Tosca Automation playlist. And today we are going to talk about an interesting feature which could be useful for you during your automation. Now consider that you are working on a desktop application and before you launch that application, you want to make sure that all the other programs which are open uh, in your desktop are closed. Okay, so you want to start up clean um, and you want to close all other programs which are currently open before running your uh, automated tests just to make sure that uh, it is not interrupted by any other program right and that could be anything um, that program could be a browser that program could be a notepad or uh, that program could even be your tosca commander or some something else right so all of this can be done using the tbox start program module now we have seen how we can use tbox start program module to start different programs like notepad browsers or any other application but you can use the same module to close those programs also right so don't go uh, by the name of the to tosca tbox automation module it can be used to do both the things which is to open and close programs now we have already seen how we can open different programs using this Today we are going to see how we can close programs using this particular module. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to use three different cases. Uh, first, we are going to look at how we can close the browsers. Uh, and then we are going to look at how we can close the notepad application. And then we'll see how we can even close the Tosca commander uh, if it's open in the background. Okay. So the first step is to add the tbox automation module. Okay. So let's go to search and add test step. And here we are going to search for tbox start program, okay, which is a process operation. And then we will add this module here, right? Now we have already seen this earlier that you can pass the path of the application and then it will start that particular program, right? But what if I want to close the program? I don't need to give the path of the application, otherwise it is going to open the program, right? So for this purpose, we are going to use one of the uh, programs or commands which are available with Microsoft itself, okay? And that is called the task kill command. Okay, so this particular uh, task kill, it can end uh, one or more tasks or processes which are running in your Windows machine, right? And this processes can be ended by either the process ID or the image name, okay? Now, um, there are some parameters uh, which you need to pass for this. Um, and uh, specifically, we'll be using the image name, okay, of the process to be terminated. Also, we'll be uh, looking at how we can uh, specify the process to be forcefully ended, okay? So, this will make sure that all the remote processes are forcefully ended. So, these are the two arguments uh, which we'll be passing on uh, when we are using this particular command, okay? So, let's go ahead and now see how we can do this in the tbox start program module okay so here to start off we need to enter task kill in the path okay so this will make sure that it is going to open this particular command okay from uh, the windows so we need to mention task kill here and along with that we need to enter some arguments right so uh, which are the parameters which uh, we looked upon uh, earlier right so for this um, will first mention slash im which is image name and uh, we are going to mention the exact image name of the process which is currently running right so uh, if i open google.com here and uh, the other url right so i have got multiple tabs open here and if i go to my windows task manager okay and here in the processes you will see all the apps which are running so if i go to google chrome and I go here and go to details. So this is the PID which we are referring to earlier. And this is the image name. Okay. So if you are using image name, you have to use uh, the name here, which is displayed in the details for that particular process. Okay. And for the Chrome browser, it is chrome.exe. So the same uh, will mention it here, which is chrome.exe. And also uh, we'll add another parameter here which is slash f which is going to force all the processes to run which has got this particular image name right 
So these are the three parameters or arguments uh, which you can add in your tbox start program along with uh, the task skill uh, value in the path. Okay, and this will basically close all the programs uh, which is related to the Chrome browser. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and run this test case now. And you will see uh, it already ran the program. So it started task kill with the following arguments, which is slash im chrome.exe slash f. Okay. And in the background, you will see that Chrome browser is already closed. So I don't have any programs uh, or any web pages which are open in the Chrome browser. And the Chrome browser itself is not open. Okay. So this is how uh, you can basically close your browsers using the tbox start program module. Similarly, uh, you can do the same for other programs as well, right? So if I add the tbox start program again, right? You can also copy paste it from the previous test case, right? Again, uh, I need to use task kill here and in the arguments I'm going to use uh, slash f to force it and then slash im, okay? And then I need to find out um, what is the program name for this notepad plus plus right so i go to task manager and i go to processes uh, here there is notepad plus plus so i'll go to details and this is the name notepad plus plus dot exe right so i'm going to write the same here notepad plus plus dot exe and that's going to close the notepad application okay so if i run this now it's going to force close it okay so if you don't give uh, the force argument um, if you are going to close it without the force argument then you may uh, get a pop-up saying do you want to save this particular program right so it's always safe to use this argument whenever you're trying to close any particular application okay and similarly we can also do it for Tosca commander okay so this is our last case let's do that again quickly so tbox start program and here again task kill argument slash f and then here we will give slash im and uh, let's try and find out what is the process name for this tosca commander right so here you can see there are so many processes which are running and um, if I go to some process here, okay, and go to details, so this is Tosca Commander dot exe, right? So Tosca Commander dot exe. Okay, so this is going to close my Tosca Commander, but if you're doing this, make sure you save everything, okay? Now, in usual scenarios, this may not be required. I mean, you will never. Uh, try to close Tosca command dot, dot exe, right? But in some scenarios, if you are maybe running um, a batch file, right, which opens um, the Tosca commander and runs some tests using the TC shell, right? So in these cases, maybe you want to close the Tosca commander itself, right? So this could be useful in these kind of scenarios. So I have saved uh, whatever changes I have done. Uh, and let's go ahead and try to close this Tosca commander itself. Okay, and you can see that uh, in the background, Tosca commander was closed. Okay, so that's how you can basically close any program using the task kill command, which is a Windows command available. Uh, either you can use the process ID or you can use the process name uh, for the program which you are trying to close. Okay. So it's a very powerful uh, automation module, which you should be aware of whenever uh, you're working on any particular automation. So that's all for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it um, and you learned something new today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we'll be posting a lot of different videos um, on Tosca and also other automation tools very soon. So until we meet again, keep watching our videos and do let us know if you want to see any particular video or on any particular topic.